Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about NVU Web or Touring System. Introduction of NVU to start. NVU is a free web page editing program. However, things have been changing and the revised version has been launched. It is more recommended to use the newer version, which is called Composer. Composer is essentially the same thing as NVU, simply helps a user to make the design of website better and easier. It is, in fact, an upgraded version of NVU, which is supposed to be more stable, less buggy, which is great. Composer is a WYS. I W Y G Editu. It is designed to be easy for novice users and does not require any knowledge of HTML or CSS to use. Now, let's see how to install NVU first. You will need to download the Composer program. Then, you will have to choose the correct version. This will Take you to sourceforge.net. You do not have to worry as you will be prompted with a box that indicates you to download the file or clock at the top to download. You just have to do that and then download the file to your desktop. So here you are, you have downloaded the composer program. Next, you will need to go to your desktop and find the file. You'll need to extract all the files since it was a zip file, which means a compressed file. All you have to do is right click on the file and choose extract all. Once you have extracted the zipped file, then go inside the unzipped folder by double clicking on it and Double click on the composer file. That gets the program up and running. And that's it. You should now have Composer NVU installed on your computer. The next thing to do is to choose a web hosting company and go through the process of purchasing your domain name and web host. After that, you will need to set up NVU to talk to your web host. This will allow NVU to send and receive the web pages you're going to be making to and from your web hosting company. It's actually a rather simple process. Note that you can use NVU to simply create your website even if you do not wish to host it. Next, you want to make sure you have NVU up and running. Then, go to Edit, then, click on Publishing Site Settings. Click on New Site. The next thing you need to do is that you need to enter your information in the New Settings window as shown in this example in the Site Name box. Type in whatever you want your site to be called. Next, you have the HTTP address of your home page. This is your domain name, always include the HTTP part. Next is publishing address. For most web hosts, like Optimal, you will simply enter FTP column slash www.yourdomainname.com. Next is username. This is the username you created when you set up your website within your web hosting company. A copy of it should have been sent to you via email in case you forgot. The last one is Passor. This is the password for the username of your web hosting company. Check mark save password. And then hit OK. You can test your publishing site setting by entering some text anywhere in on the screen. After that, click on file, then click on save as. If it asks you to enter a title, just type in testing. Then save it to your desktop and name it test. Now hit 
the publish button in NVU you will get this dialog box. Hit publish again. You should see this box. If it says publishing complete and closes the box, then your FTP settings are correct. However, if it's not publishing or can't find the server, then there might be two reasons why. First reason. It might take 24 to 48 hours for your web host to set up your account and make it available for you to use with NVU. Second reason. Your FTP settings username or password are incorrect. You need to check your email from your host and confirm this information. Occasionally some web hosting companies like Yahoo require you to enter FTP column slash FTP your domain name dot com instead of FTP dot your domain name dot com. Try that to see. If you are using optimal web hosting, then you just enter FTP dot your domain name dot com. Okay, now let's test it to see that it upload correctly. You can choose any web browser you want. Internet Explorer, Firefox, etc. Go to your web browser and type in the name of your domain name. For our example, we would type in www.mypokerinsights.com slash test html. If you see the text you wrote, then you ready to start designing your website. It's a good idea to be organized. Return to your desktop and create a new folder. Right click and then choose new folder. Name it whatever you want your site to be called and make sure you put all the files for your site in that folder. Considering page layout. Now, before jumping and designing your website with NVU, let's take a time to think about how you want the website to be designed. Some considerations are Navigation. This is how to get from one page to the next. Consider how many pages you need. What pages you want to have in the site, including any of the common pages about us, links, contact us, etc. What are the headers and any images or pictures you want to add? However, the most common layouts are having the navigation at the top or on the left hand side as shown in the above picture. One reason you generally don't see links on the right side is because different people use different browsers and the size of the screens vary and some people have to scroll over to the right to see the links which isn't all that functional. Typically the navigation is just simple text or a graphic rollover image. The header is usually at the top, navigation is on the left, and then main content area is in the middle. This is the most common layout on the web. After getting your feet wet, you can design your site however you like, and maybe even break away from the norm. Using tables to design web page. There are a couple ways to design the layout of your web page. However, the quickest and easiest way to start off with is using tables. There are others ways like not using tables at all, like with the ever increasingly popular CSS. Another way is just having a flash site to make it easy and keep it simple. We start off with using tables to help us design the layout of our website. This is a very common practice and probably most of the sites out there do use tables for their layout. Once we have the tables set up, then we can simply just add the header, navigation and content very easily 
same as presented in the example. So, we are going to use a couple tables to achieve this layout. It's a good idea to use at least two tables for your site. One is for your header and the other is for the rest of your site. That way, you can modify your header information without affecting the rest of your site. To create a table, follow the steps below. In the end view, click on the table button or table option in the menu. Next, you need to select how many rows and columns you would use. In the example above for the first table, which will contain the header, we just want one row by one column. After selecting just comma one by comma one, then hit OK. You will get something that looks like this. The next thing to do is select inside the newly created table and right click to get a menu of options. Then click table cell properties. This gives you a whole new menu. Now click on the table tab as shown below. This brings up the table properties menu where you see the height set that to 90 and then click on the drop down arrow and set that to pixels. For the width make it 100 then select the drop down arrow and select percentage of window. Also go ahead and make the borders spacing padding all set to zero. Next change the background color by selecting the box next to it and select a green color by moving the mouse over green color and click it then click OK. Now go back and look at your screen. You will see something that now looks like this. Congratulations, you've inserted your first table. After inserting your first table, a green row, then we'll be adding the rest of the layout using one more table. You will be repeating the process essentially except for a couple things. After inserting your first table, move the mouse directly under the table and click the button. You should now see a blinking cursor underneath the table. Insert a new table. This time make it one by two, one row, two columns. Hit OK your new table should show up. Move your mouse between the two tables and left click the mouse button. Now hit delete on your keyboard. This should now make the two tables flush up against each other. Now right click and go to table properties. Resses the row as you did in the last table to 100 picnic width and leave the height blank and in pixels. Get rid of the spacing, padding and border. Set them to zero. It should now look like this. For now you may have an idea of how the layout will be. The website layout will be in the format sketched from the example above. For the second table, we need a narrower column that is blue for our navigation. So we'll have to resize the first column in our new table and fill it with a blue color. Go to N view and select the first column in your new table by left clicking inside of it. Then right click and bring up the properties box for the cell. Now click on the background color and pick a blue color. Then click OK next. Fill in the width, which in this case we want that cell to be 120 pixels wide. Click OK. You should now have a narrow blue column underneath your green header and the rest of the second table is white. Congratulations! You've now completed your basic design. Now let's go over how to add text to the content area and then work on navigation. 
There are some other useful ways NView allows you to change tables and the way they are set up. This is carried out as follows. Select inside any cell with a table. Just click in the middle of the cell you can change the properties within a cell by right clicking while your mouse is inside the cell you want to modify. If you want to modify the whole table, then you click on the table tab. You can change the alignment of text in the cell by changing the horizontal and vertical content alignment. Vertical is top, middle or bottom of the cell. Horizontal is left, center, right or flush of the cell. These are very useful and will help format your website to make it look better and more professional. By clicking on the table tab, you can now change the cell padding, cell spacing and borders for the entire table. To change the cell padding, which gives more cushion between the text and the edge of cell, which oftentimes make the text easier to read, you simply add a number to increase the padding. For cell spacing, enter any number. This puts space between cells. This feature can be helpful from time to time with design issues. The border of a table puts a line around the table and each cell. Border is a helpful feature in defining the edge of the table. Formatting text in NVU Let's see how you can format your text in NVU. Formatting your text is fairly simple. When using NVU you need to carry on the following steps. To apply formatting to your text in NVU for all the text you can use. The text bar in NVU to make text a different color. Highlight the text you want to change color. Left click the mouse, hold and drag to highlight. Then click on the foreground text color in the menu. Choose the desired color. The colors in the box on the right are considered web safe colors. These colors are thought to be displayed correctly on all browsers. Furthermore, if you want to change the size of a font, highlight the text you want to change and click on the as shown below. To make the text bold, italic or underlined, click on either the B, I or U. To add bullets or numeric indentation, click on either of those two options. Make sure you have the text highlighted. You will L need to hit enter on your keyboard after each new line that want a bullet to appear. To change the alignment of text left, center or right, highlight the text and click the appropriate settings in the menu. Next, to indent or outdent text, place your cursor at the beginning of the row you want to indent or outdent and then hit either option as shown below. To change the font you are using, click on the variable width blue down arrow option and select the font from the list. To select text already used in a different font, highlight text and then repeat above. And if you want to check your spelling, hit the ABC spell button. You can also use the format option from the menu bar at the top of the screen. Play around with formatting the text and you'll find out there's a lot you can do and in different combinations. Creating links and navigation in NVU now. Let's see how you create links in NVU. Navigation is how you get from one page to another whether it's on your site or a clicking to another person's site. Creating text links and image links is how you build your navigation menu in NVU. It is extremely important to remember that your home page will always start with index. It will either be index.htm or index.html or index.php or index.osp, but it will be begin 
with index dot. So, when linking to your home page, it should always link to the index file in your directory. To create links, carry on the following steps mentioned below. To create a text link, highlight the text where you want to create a link and click on the link button. Enter in the blank white space in the link properties box the name of the website or web page you want to link to. If you wanted to link to your home page, for example, there are two ways you can do this. One is called an absolute link. An example is HTTP column slash www dot your website dot com slash index dot html the other one is called a relative link and that's done by simply entering index dot html this will take them to the index dot html for whichever website they are on that moment if you want to link to another website you will always need to include the http column slash slash www dot other website domain name dot com note that you must enter the entire web address including the http column slash slash to link to another website from your own now let's see what can be linked besides pages you can link to all sorts of things besides pages you can link to images sounds flash files email etc also if you want your link to open in a new window rather than replacing the page your visitor is looking at this opens a new window with your site remaining in the background you can just click the open in a new window underneath the more properties button you can also link from images images or graphic images are simply picture that you can put in your website carry on the following steps below to insert images in n view to insert an image in n view click the image icon at the top a dialog box pops up that looks like this. Click Choose File option, then pick the image you want to insert from your pictures. Ensure that the image is also in your website folder that has been created on your desktop. That way, it will be uploaded correctly when you publish the site. After choosing the file, you see a preview of the image. Next, enter the alternate text. This is description of the image. You can also opt out of using the alternate text. It's a good idea to include the alternate text for numerous reasons. Accessibility, search engines, etc. After that hit OK and it places the image in the end view editor. You can press the image but using the handles and click and dragging the image. Terraces. To return back to original size, right click on the image and click on image properties, then click on dimensions and click on actual size. To add a border to the image, click on appearance in the image properties and type in a number 1 is thin, 10 is very thick. However, to remove the border, use 0 or delete the field altogether. OK, so that's a general idea of how to begin to build a site with NVU. Last but certainly not least is how to save and publish your web pages. It's a good idea to be well organized from the start. So this part will focus on creating a quick way of putting it all together and then saving your work and publishing it to the web for the world to see. When you first begin a website project, create a folder on your desktop and name it the same name as your website. Then make sure to add and save all of your website files and pages made in NVU 
as well as all the images made with your graphics edit too. This will help keep you organized for future changes. After having worked on a page, simply save the page. Make sure that the page is saved to your working folder. If you want to eat to publish that page to the web, then hit publish. If it gives you the option to insert a page title, then enter an appropriate title for the page and hit publish or OK. Now go back and highlight all the content, just the text in the white part of the table. After highlighting all the text in the white cell, then hit delete on your keyboard and enter new information to create another new page. This keeps all the formatting from the last page and allows you to create a new page. Do not save it just yet though. Click on Format, Page Properties and Title and then enter an appropriate title for this new page. Then click File, Save As. Make sure to choose Save As. Enter a new different name for this file and save. This saves the new web page as a different file. Repeat the above processes for all the web pages you want to create. Also, make sure you have created a home page and saved it as index.html. Now, go to your home page, index.html, and in the blue column, blue cell, enter the page names and link each text name to the right web page. This will be your navigation to each page. Highlight and copy and paste that navigation to each of the rest of the pages. To be more quicker, you can move between pages by clicking on the tabs for each page. Go to and save then publish each individual page. Open a browser and test your website to see how it looks and functions. It should look something like this. Congratulations! You just built your first website.